गाइज डू यू वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ टू सेट अप वी एस कोड फॉर क्रिएटिंग एंड रनिंग जावा प्रोग्राम सो दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू रन जावा प्रोग्राम इन वी एस कोड वी एस कोड इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर आई डी आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू डाउनलोड हाउ टू यूज इट एवरीथिंग आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सो वॉच माई वीडियो टिल एंड सो गाइज लेट्स बिगिन सो फॉर रनिंग जावा प्रोग्राम यू रिक्वायर जे डी के एज वेल एज यू require uh, vs code id so first of all i will be uh, showing you what how to download vs code so now guys for that what i'm doing i'm just starting my command prompt and i'm showing you that i'm not having any java install on my pc so you can see i have just typed java hyphen hyphen version and it is showing me java is not recognized so guys i don't have java install on my pc now let me go to browser and let me show you how to install java on your windows machine so let's start the video guys so guys you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for jdk download and guys here you can see official website oracle.com you need to click on this java downloads link so guys it will redirect you to download page and here you can see we have java downloads available jdk 21 is lts that is long time support here uh, we will be installing this jdk so guys here we have different operating system so we will be selecting windows so here we will be taking x64 msi installer so to download this just click on this link and guys you can see the download has been started and it is done guys so now to start the installation we need to click on this msi file let me close my browser and here guys we need to click on next button and here guys it is showing me the location where my jdk will be installed so it will be installed in this location c colon program file java under that jdk folder if you wish to change click on change button otherwise you can click on this in next button and now guys it has started installing and the installation is done here it is showing me successfully install guys so i am going to click on close button so your installation is done guys now if you want to use this java program anywhere in any other id so you need to set the path in the environmental variable that step is important otherwise you may get error that java is not recognized so let's do that so i will be going to my installation location so here c colon program file java and here select the jdk and under that select bin guys and now you need to copy this path okay so copy this path and then search env that is edit the system environmental variable so it will open this window here you need to click on environmental variable button and now guys under system variable we will be clicking on new button so here i am going to create a new variable java underscore home and in variable value i am going to paste the path which i have copied but i am going to remove this slash bin and click on okay and now guys we are already having path variable if you don't have you can again click on new button and create now we will edit this so select and click on edit button click on new button here and paste the copied path guys and click on okay 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 three time so path setting is done guys now my jdk setup is done i can run any java program by using any of the id or editor so now here i am just starting command prompt by typing cmd in search box and here i am typing java space hyphen hyphen version and you can see guys it's showing me the version of java it's not showing me any error that mean the installation is successful okay guys you can open any of your favorite browser and just search vs code download and here in guys you can see the search result this is the official website you need to simply click on this link so guys it will redirect you to this download page i'm going to install it for windows so i'm going to click on this button and guys you can see my download has been started so we will wait for it Okay guys so my download is done i'm going to click on this exe let me close my browser and guys here it is asking me license and agreement so i'm going to select this i accept and i'm going to click on this next button and guys this is the installation location of your vs code this is a default location if you wish to change click on browse and change i'm clicking on next button and guys here it's showing me that th with this name it will be added to start menu yes i want i'm going to click on next 
next button and now guys here we have various options available so first option is if you want visual studio code shortcut is to be created on desktop you can select first option and this two option when you right click on any of the code and you want to open with vs code so in context menu if you want that option you can select and click on next button and now guys here we will click on install button so guys the installation has been started it will take a while we will wait for it okay guys so you can see the installation has been done successfully it has created shortcut on desktop and here it's showing me launch just click on this finish button and here in guys you can see your visual studio code has been launched it's showing the welcome screen since we have started first time and now guys now the important step we are going to follow that is what extension so for running java program you required few extension okay in vs code if you want to run anything any program you need to download extension so just go to this extension tab and guys here you have to search for two extension okay the first extension is java just type java it will show you various options select this option extension pack for java so this is going to install six extensions since it is a pack it is going to install six extension so here are the six extension it will install what uh, test runner maven project manager language support for for java debugger all the six uh, packs it will install so you can see uh, i'm clicking on this install button and my installation has been started it is showing me installing since it will install six packs so it will take a while so we will wait for it okay guys so installation for uh, java package done uh, here my uh, java development is ready now i will suggest you to install one more uh, extension uh, that is code runner so here type code runner code runner is one of the popular extension so it can be used for any programming language so code runner you have to install this one okay dot run okay so this is the uh, code runner just click on install button so done installation of code runner is done so guys now uh, let me show you how to create project so go to file menu and click on open folder over here and you can browse your folder wherever you want to save your program so i'm just taking my cs corner folder and i'm just clicking on this select folder and you can see under my explorer it's showing me my folder cs corner right so now you can create your file inside this just click on this new file button and give your file name java file name so guys here you need to provide a java file name so i'm giving java file name as hello demo dot java and hit enter guys and you can see your java file got created over here right now we will be writing code so let's start with a class so here we uh, i'm writing class class hello demo curly bracket is generated now next i will write psvm and then select this and you can see guys public static void main which is nothing but entry point for for java program is generated now i want to print simple statement so i am typing s out and again you can see system dot out dot println is generated in this i am just going to print a simple message so guys my code is done my program is ready now so i will run this program so to run this program i am going to select run code and boom guys i am getting my output okay so this is done i got my output now one more point i would like to show you because uh, uh, if you are doing java program definitely you may require user input so uh, you can see the output is coming under this output tab right but we want output uh, should come in a terminal tab because for accepting user input terminal is required so now simply i'm just modifying my program and i'm creating one uh, object of scanner so that i can accept input from user and then i'm asking user that enter some value and whatever value user is uh, entering i'm just storing that into a variable and then guys i'm just trying to print that value okay this is my simple java code and now what i'll do i'll run this program okay so if i'm running this program you can see again the output is coming in uh, this output tab enter some value but guys here i'm not able to type okay i'm not able to type so uh, if you want to accept user input this pro this way will not work so we have to just change the output should come into terminal 
so we have to do some setting so guys you can go to this setting tab which is given at the bottom left or you can go to file menu and you can select preferences option and settings and there guys you need to just search one option run in terminal and here guys you can see this checkbox run in terminal just select it okay that's all guys now i will run my program again and boom guys you can see now i'm getting my output in terminal and here it is asking me enter something so i'm entering something over here and then guys you can see it has accepted the input and it is printing that mean it is accepting my user input so guys i have shown you everything like uh, installation to how to accept user input in java i hope guys by following my video you are able to successfully run your java program in vs code so guys if my video has really helped you don't forget to click on like button and if you have any type of query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys uh, i'm sharing lots of pdf and notes freely on my telegram channel the link of my all social media i have given in description box you can follow me there also and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget forget to press bell icon to receive more videos from my channel thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care